Yeah, we we use now an old older version of Sveltkit and the Firebase adapter. That's the bridge to Firebase and Sveltkit. So I will try to update it. It should be a quick task, but I will just explain a bit how uh, how to check it out and uh, maybe how you can see your current version and then what you what the steps are to to update. Yeah, this is in beta, so um, there could be like breaking changes. Uh, for example, last time uh, the, when I did an update, they changed the, the layout file. The, instead of, there used to be a dollar sign at layout, and now there's like two underscores. Um, so these changes are still happening. So we probably see some one or two breaking changes, and it would be nice to spot them before we run into errors. Uh, by looking at the change log. Now let's update this uh, of the Svelte kit and adapters. So we use this package from Jeff Fegus. Uh, and this will connect Svelte kit with Firebase. Yeah, Svelte kit is still in beta. Adapter API is in flux. This can result in the adapter and Svelte kit becoming incompatible. If we just update to, to the latest versions, we could get some issues with this adapter. So it's probably best to, to follow this table and, uh, and set this uh, version. And we can just add SvelteKit, see what the latest next version is. So if it's higher, then uh, it's the latest, 11.11. So you see all the versions. So the latest is uh, 111, and this one is also 111. So we should be okay just to update everything. Yeah, you can quickly see in most uh, repositories, there's this change log file. You can see what has been changed. And just go to quickly browse it and see what's, what's, uh, what they changed. See if we need to do something or it affects our code. So to do this, we can look at this package.json log file. This is the JSON file here. You specify all your packages that you want to have in your project. But in this log file, there's actually the version that is installed. Um, I don't see a log file here, so that's <laughs> a difficult then to show. Maybe we, we hide it or something. Yeah, so it is there. Exclude, no, I don't want to exclude it. Okay, so here you can exclude files, settings.json. And if you do it, they won't show up in this uh, yeah. file explorer. Um, so you can just uh, be this. And then we see it. So here you see all the versions uh, where the distributions have been downloaded from. And it's a long list of uh, 4,000 lines, so you cannot really search it. But in the beginning, they you will see these versions, I guess. Yeah, what I do most of the time is just search for this uh, Svelte adapter. Uh, you see higher than, this is higher than version 0 0.7, but that's not the version that's installed. So the first thing you see here is, uh, is the correct version. So you see 0 0.7.7. .7. So that's the version that we are running now. Um, yeah, and I think Firebase will, will also pick this version. Let's not go too deep into this because I, there's also this package.json in the functions. So this special for the functions file. Maybe it will use this or maybe it will use this. It's a bit complicated because it will build the JavaScript. It will compile it to one uh, package. So probably it doesn't need all this. We'll just take it and then compile it. But I'm not really into all this compiling things. So I just, if it works, it works. So we have this version. So let's see what's changed in the change log. So I have like a uh, test and documentation. Update API with the latest config. So that could be, let's just check it out what it is. Could be relevant to our project. Uh, wait request body. Let's just quickly skim it, sorry. Fine, and then I won't bump into it <laughs> every time. Um, simplify body parsing and add handler type. Yeah, we don't have to go into detail. So use SK computed config to determine if static dirs differ. <laughs> I don't know what this means. SK, what, what is this? Specify minimum Node.js version is JSON. So that's nice because we run into issues if you have a lower version. Uh, it's actually a bug that, which I did encounter uh, one, one day by running a lower version. So I believe this is okay. Summary, Java SDK. 
Handler JS. I, I believe this would be okay. So it would be nice to see something like fix the app, 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 app issue because we have this, but that's why I also skim it. So then we can celebrate, but it doesn't fix it, I think, in here. Maybe in SvelteKit. So this uh, Node.js is not supported. Yes, so that's something to keep in mind for using Firebase. You need to be on Node.js 14 or 16. It's the same as SvelteKit. So if you're using SvelteKit, do that. Um, so let's also check the Svelte version we're using now svelte kit version um svelte kit i think it's called yeah so here you see the version 107 which we're using currently so what and here's no change log file but you have to go into the packages and then there's this uh kit and here they have this change log so we are currently at 107 and they don't have these links so ignore urls fix dependencies hash handled by the router update compatible node so that's a big deal these node js versions upgrade to fight so i think we're fine by by uploading it there's no big thing we have to change let's just do that i first want to close the fight uh, development server install will uh, will update based log files so that's handy to know if you want to get the same versions you can do npm install and it will take the versions of the log file but if you do update it will get all the new versions all the packages and it will update the log file as well so here you can see see what it did so it did do something now it added two packages changed 34 packages and audited a lot of packages so it also changed this log file so uh, it looks like the adapter did not change oh it did also not change this one hey it is there adapter so this looks like it's wrong version it's because i did specify seven here maybe just do eight and run it again okay now we have this 8.4 version installed the music is so random today sorry about that <laughs> it's actually a bit too funky for me i think i cannot think anymore i guess you have to dance summer in colombia it's called let's just give it a star why not <laughs> so i think we have the latest version so let's just run the the server again and see what if we get any errors which should be fine probably so we use this now the next version Render is not a function in the hooks. Why not? So I know this file, it's in the source and then uh, in the hooks. So here there's a render. And it says like render is not a function. So we probably do have to change this to something else. The next step then what I do is always I go to this, uh, I'll just go to the example project and see how they did it. Because they have this example project in the, in the GitHub. You can see it in packages and then create Svelte. And then there are some templates, I think. Yeah, and then the default template there is also this uh, hooks.ts. It's using TypeScript, but it's a bit similar. So here we see already like this render should be called resolve. <laughs> so these are just like some basic API things they will change because it's not stable yet if it's stable and if we just change this to resolve it will probably work request in yeah and then resolve return a response oh yeah that will probably work I just re rerun it let's see if we get the project and then we have an up-to-date svelte kit with the up-to-date adapter and maybe even some other packages that are now up to date. Okay, maybe something more is going on here. Session of null in the layout file. So we have this session in the app stores. It's not the uh, app store of uh, iPhone, but the app store of uh, Childkit. People are not confused about uh, what app store we're talking about. <laughs> Let's just look at the example again, I think. And they probably have some uh, code here as well. Maybe even the session. I would just go to the documentation. App stores, the session of no. So I don't really know why. Uh, maybe it's uh, some fight thing again. Sometimes restarting it will, will make it to work. It will load some dependencies. Maybe it didn't load the dependency correctly. Or maybe just Google, see if there's an issue in this as well. Felt uh, git issue queue. Uh, get stores. Yeah, I did remember we first need to get the stores in the supper. So we get store first, like this indeed. Maybe that will work. I'm not sure if it will, but maybe then we can get the session from the store. This 
I know in supper we used to do it like this. It seems like this is no. But maybe we should include something here as well. In the same issue. In header. So it's in a different file. So this will fix it, I think. But now we have to do it as well in uh, all the fair. All the places where we use the session. So here we also use the session and then we use the get stores and then the session first. And here as well, it also needs the page. That's uh, probably something they changed in uh, in one of the... There's just some... Uh, you will not get this issue if you use the stable version. Like you have to change these things. But when you use beta versions, then uh, you can run into these uh, changes. We just accept them. And, uh, they probably have good reasons to do it like this. They also did this like this in Sapa. I really, I like the other one, the other notation. But yeah, I'm okay with it. Get just one more line to play. It. Okay, look at that. The project works again. Let's also work with the emulators. Let's create an activity. Okay, now we have the form, so we can just test it. Just check the emulator as well. Yeah. Yeah, so what we did was to have this get stores and then call the session from this like this. And this worked, so that was nice, but it now takes two lines. And I looked at the documentation and what it said, like instead of doing this, you can also just do this. You do need to have the get stores uh, first and then you can do the session. Yeah, so we did the update. Maybe we will run into some issues later, but uh, at least we, we have all the new features we use now. The So what changed in this from 107 to 111? So if you want to have the session, you have to do the get stores first and then get the session from that. And the other thing was in the hook.js file, we had to, Instead of uh, having the render function here, we use the resolve function. So that's the two main uh, things we had to fix to get this update working.